previously recorded. So yeah, I threw me on some clothes and I'm about to do what I need to do. Can't wait to bake it off of work so we can get out here in this yard, but I'm excited. But I think I'm gonna get a head start on them. I think I'm going to get a head start because when he come, I want us to start on something different, you know? Watch his ass go back in the shed or something. I know they in there. I know they be in there. But anyway, yeah. That cat, look cross-eyed, child. You better take your hearing ass home. That cat is cross-eyed. Let me go on on, cause see my, just look how it's clearing out. <laughs> so excited. Can't wait till we pull these trees out to really see the difference, you know? what's going on y'all how y'all doing today i hope y'all is having a good day today but today we about to cook us a quick dinner so y'all know that consists of some chicken and some fr french fries then i saw all this working in the yard and i'm tired and i was so tempted to go so Popeyes to get us something to eat. Cause today is Popeyes Tuesday, just in case, but y'all gonna see this video on uh, Thursday. So happy Thursday to y'all. But yeah, today is Popeyes Tuesday, and that's where I was headed to go and get us some Popeyes chicken. But I had already took this here chicken out because I had me a video that I was supposed to be doing, you know, for y'all or whatever. But been working, honey, that work the yard work done got to me, so child honey i didn't even see doing this right here in my future while i was out that door because honey i promise y'all i was on my way to popeye's we was gonna go get us some popeye's chicken and some french fries so i was like what's the purpose of me going to popeye's chicken to get some chicken and i got me some chicken i already taken out in the refrigerator so i'm just going on to do do my thing with you know my own chicken you know what i'm saying i ain't got to worry about it the chicken ain't fresh and all that good stuff so we just gonna go ahead on and do that but I'm cutting up some potatoes right now, making some homemade french fries, and um, yeah, the homemade fries, the homemade fries taste better than the, um, the frozen ones, so I don't mind making homemade fries, because I, I know that they taste better, you know, but yeah, so they say he gonna come on in here and season up the, season up the fries for me and stuff, but I'm, I'm cool with that, because guess what? We get them in the kitchen, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You can't complain about the small things because that's a start to him coming in here doing other stuff. So you come on and season up beef fries. I ain't even going to be mad at you, baby. Hook them on up. Show them how you put that seasoning on them. You know. <laughs> ain't that right, Grandma? Mm -hmm. You got to let them. Grandma, you got to let them come on in the kitchen do the little stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. what, Grandma, don't be mad because he just going to I ain't going to be mad because he want to season some fries. You come on and season them fries, baby. Because, baby, that's going to lead to you seasoning the chicken the next time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's going to be seasoning some pork chops. Next thing you know, he's going to be like, baby, let me throw it on in the oven. So you go right on ahead. <laughs> Look, y'all, got to bait them to the stove. You know what I'm saying? So you go right on ahead. I ain't mad at your child, so... I'm just cutting up these potatoes right here for them. And we're going to fry some chicken breast. Because that's all I got. I ain't got no other portion of chicken but chicken breast. So I'm cooking up everything I got in my freezer before I go back to the grocery store. Because I don't have no room in my freezer. Y'all know my deep freezer don't went out. So I ain't got no room to be telling I'm going to no store to be buying food and stuff like that. So I'm just cooking up everything I got. So y'all are going to notice that y'all seeing a lot of the same stuff but that's because y'all know how i do when i get down to my little bit you know what i'm saying i'm down to my freezer full of food so 
I'm going on to get rid of everything that I got before I go to the grocery store and stock up again. But yeah, y'all, so, and hopefully by the time I stock up again, I have me a deep freezer. So yeah, that's my goal, to have me a deep freezer. Need me a deep freezer, y'all. I don't know what to do without a deep freezer. You got to have a deep freezer, and I'm going to get me a bigger one next time. I want me a stand-up freezer. But the upright freezers, they just so expensive. So, you know, I'm going to get what I can afford at this time. You know what I'm saying? Going to get what I can afford and keep the pushing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make do. It's going to make do. You know? So, let me finish cutting up these here potatoes. And then, I'm going to come back at you and show y'all how I'm going to season up this here chicken. But, don't go nowhere now. Y'all better stay right here now. Y'all going to miss out on some good cooking. But anyway, so let me say this before I um, put y'all on pause for the calls for a minute. Even though you really ain't going to be paused. I'm going to be paused. But uh, welcome to my channel. If you was new, thank you for coming. I hope you was enjoying yourself. Let me see if we recording, child. But yeah, I hope you was enjoying yourself over here. And I want to thank you for coming. I appreciate each and every one of you that has been, you know, showing me support and love. Y'all been doing y'all thing. And so I, I thank y'all for showing me the love and the support and just be looking for your girl and being her every time I post a video. That really means a lot to me, y'all. So I thank each and every one of y'all that be, you know, coming and supporting us, me and my family, because not only is you supporting me, you support my family. You know what I'm saying? I don't take I don't take my funds and use them just for myself. I use them for my household. So I thank y'all. I thank each and every one of y'all. And I know my family thank y'all too. So, yeah, so I'm going to pause this here. Oh, yeah. And I ain't finished yet. Hold on for a pause. But, yeah, um, but ring the doorbell. What I mean by ring the doorbell is hit the thumbs up the like button if you don't know if you is new. Um, make sure you have your notification set. So that's that little bell that's next to the subscribe button. Set the notification bell to all. And make sure that you hit the subscribe and be here. Don't be no stranger. Okay. All right, so now we finna go, and just, we finna, we, I'm finna put you on pause for a second. All right, y'all, we got fifty one fifty back in the kitchen, y'all. Oh, I told y'all he finna season up these French fries. Listen to her in the background, cause I got my apron right now, man. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my apron. Hook him up, babe. How you gonna see? You better go on now. What else you gonna put on now? Grandma, all right, Grandma. We gonna eat high tonight. Gonna be home, Grandma. Already seasoned the flour. That that be your problem right there. You don't season this. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Take a lot of water. Okay, that's enough. That is enough. Stay right there now. Stay right there now. Well, 5150 is in the kitchen. I know you ain't talking. What my season salt? Right here? Yeah. We got some more though. If you need I ain't enough. Mm-hmm. The season salt soft. I'm trying to kill going on there. Nah, that season salt ain't salty, not that one. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm cooking. Well, I ain't cooking nothing. My wife in here cooking some french fries, and I told her let me season the four cup. And fried last chicken. Time, and fried chicken. Cause last time she seasoned. They it. do be seasoned. Anyway. I'm starting to think you like salt. I'm going to want to season it. Yes, they do. What your seasoning? I ain't got I got to mix me up some. I ain't got my seasoning. What my chili pepper is there? You don't need no damn chili yeah, powder. What is it? Let me let you do what you do. Y'all, I know y'all gonna be like, Tiana, let him do it. What is it? What Hold is on. It? He gonna put some chili powder, y'all. You already, you already know that's the best ingredient. And watch how just, much watch just, how much he put, y'all. Just, just like you say about your now how you got that you just like you say about your seasoning. This the best ingredient. I ain't never seen you use that much chili powder. That's how I'm gonna put it. <laughs> you you are I'm doing on. yourself today. Hey, I'm in, I'm on the grind. I got the cows. I ain't tasted last time. Okay. Why well, look it? like you had something on you just then? Babe, you put black pepper. I know. It's how it's supposed to be. I it's going to be it's spicy. Just, it's just, it was this old white pastor man that used to cook. That's why I like potatoes a lot. He used to cook it like that, but he used to put black black pepper. And it always turned out to look so good. And it was so fucking good, bro. Okay. I can't make it like him. Rest his soul. Rest in peace. And what else he put on now? He put chili powder too? Nah, that's oh, my, that's your thing. That's my own thing. Oh, okay. 
whole thing. Alright. Gotta have that chili powder and everything. It got to. It got to, yeah. I don't know. It's just something about that chili powder, bro. It just do something to me. What a two thing. I mean, Abby, you really can't taste it because I don't mix so much in it. You know what I'm saying? Season salt, salt, pepper, my chili powder. I think that's it. Let me make sure. Let me think sure. Make sure. Sure. Okay, so this baked french fries, y'all. I'm going to season up the chicken for you. You That's did it. your thing. All right. All right. Now, gonna smoke now you ready to put them in the flour? Yeah. Uh -huh. You done? Yeah, I'll be back. Well, all right, when you coming back? I don't know, but I'll be back. <laughs> all right, y'all, so this is what we got for baked seasoning. Seasoned um, potatoes. All right, so I'm going I'm to I'm I'm put them in the flour and all that good stuff. Y'all going to do it with me. Yes, ma'am. I tried to get, I tried to recruit grandma to do it for me, y'all. Okay, so I'm finna put the potatoes in the bag. We're gonna shake them up. I know y'all don't seen this before, but honey, this is our meal that we having tonight. Quick dinner. I'm thinking. Yes, ma'am. Do you have Huh? Alcohol in my food? Yeah. Wine? Uh, Talking about the wine? No, alcohol. I really alcohol. Put it in my food? On your skin. Oh, uh-uh. That may help. Oh, I ain't got it no more? No. Uh-uh. Look, I hate to say that because last time I told you that what happened, the same time I... <laughs> the same time I said it, it started right there. So I hate to say that. I I I told you nothing else to me. It they still come and see you. They wanna lay around. You gonna shake them up? Uh, we're gonna shake these here up in the bag and then we're gonna get them out. Real good, get them coated, just like you do your chicken, same way. All right, so now we're about to season up this here chicken, and y'all already know my chicken, I do a little different from everybody. This is my seasonings mixed up. I'm seasoning up my chicken. You season with your chicken with whatever you want to season your chicken with, okay? And we just going to do it like that right up. So I'm going to mix this here around, make sure I got me enough seasoning on that chicken because you know you want that chicken to be nice and seasoned real good you know and it looked like i ain't got enough so i'm about to put me see that so i'm about to put me some more on now like that right there And we good. Nice seasoned chicken. You don't want no bland tasting chicken. You want your chicken to be seasoned. You know. Now I'm gonna put me some mustard on now. Got to have the mustard. It's not gonna make it taste like mustard if y'all don't know. And then I would add some hot sauce, but I'm down to a little bit, and I want me some when I'm eating my chicken. So. We ain't gonna put no hot sauce. So I'm mixing all this here up. And then if you're gonna use your flour or something like that, then you season up your flour as well. I recommend all purpose flour because I don't really care for self rising flour when it comes to frying chicken. Um, you know, I, I wanna taste the chicken. I don't wanna taste all that bread and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, now. We're gonna get us this uh, cornstarch. And this is my signature way of making fried chicken. I like to use cornstarch. So I'm just gonna use enough of this here to give it a sticky coating on the outside of the chicken. 
when I tell you, baby, this be some of the best fried chicken you'll ever have in your entire life. Like, you be like, dang, that girl broke her foot off up in there, honey. I taste some of her toes in mine. Okay? So, yes, honey. Get it like that. Get it nice and sticky. But you don't want it like a dry sticky. You want it like a wet sticky. If that makes sense. When you get to doing it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Just add a little bit at a time until you get it to that consistency that I'm telling you about. I'm telling y'all, for everybody that don't try my chicken, love it. Baby, loving it. Loving it, never loving it. Loving it. Loving it, loving it. Loving it. I be hooking it up, y'all. I be doing my thing in the kitchen. I don't know about y'all, but you know, I do my thug to the fizzle. Look at up. You see how it's all on now? You see how it's sticky, like a wet sticky? That's what you want to look like. All right, so now let me wash my hands. Alrighty, y'all. So it's time to cook the chicken and everything. My grease should be hot. So I'm going to drop a little of this here dough down in there. Oh yeah, see how I dropped down and came back up? Drop down and get your eagle on, girl. Hey, drop down and get your eagle on. It's ready. So now I'm going to take my chicken, straighten the skin up on it, and we're going skin side down first. Alright, so now I'm about to get my potatoes on out the bag and lay them out on my boards. Lay them out on my board so that the flour can start sticking to me. I would stick to them that way they fry better they get a nice crispy fry and you ain't got to worry about all that um, flour in the bottom of your pot too it serves a purpose by doing it like this several purposes Make sure you shake them off. That way you get most of it off because when you get ready to drop them, you're going to shake them again. You don't want all that flour in your pot. And when I tell y'all I made some of the best, let me tell you something. For one, I'm already a fried queen. Like, I can fry the mess out of some chicken, some fish. Some french fries, baby. When I tell you, I make some of the best. I got to toot my own horn, honey, be big, baby. In the Jeep, baby. When I creep, baby. Okay? Be big. So that's how you do that right there, right there. Later on. And then I decided we're going to have a some corn, too. So I'm about to get me some corn and get that going. So we can have those kind of french fries, fried chicken, 
And corn. Corn, the corn is going to be good. It's not full of everything. Look at that. You can't go wrong with some corn. You know? All right, so I got all of them out All right, y'all, so I'll be back when it's time to fry the french fries. Now, I don't know why I lied and told y'all I'll be back when I get ready to cook the french fries. Because I have to show you how to cook this chicken. Okay, y'all notice, it's still frying. I ain't did nothing. This uh, chicken still on the same side that I dropped it on, y'all. But let me tell you something. If you was new here for those, for, uh, listen. My, my old subscribers, family members, y'all, don't say nothing right now. But I got to always say this because we always get somebody new, okay? But if you was new here, do not, do not, do not, do not, I repeat, do not. Take a knife, stab your chicken just to see if it's done. Do not take this doggone fork right here and, and turn your chicken with just to cook it. Do not use no regular fork. I know it's a big one, but no regular fork to turn your chicken to see if it's done. Do not poke your chicken because if you poke your chicken, you're going to be releasing juices out of it and then your chicken going to be dry. And don't nobody want no dry behind chicken. I know I don't. So you best not put my name on it and say that you done, cook, you done got a recipe for me and you cooking it and going to serve it to somebody and then that chicken be dry but you done poked it to death. Okay? So, don't poke your chicken, y'all. Okay? Use you something like this to turn your chicken, to pick it up, to take it out, or something like this. Some tongs would work, which works perfectly fine. And I wouldn't give a good goddamn if you gotta use something like this, plastic or metal, I wouldn't care. But do not poke your chicken, okay? All right, now we got that understanding. You can fry my chicken and put my name on it because I know you ain't gonna poke it. All right, so let's check it. I ain't touched the chicken or nothing. It's still on the same side because I don't do all that, y'all. I don't babysit my food. I, just, I never leave the kitchen. I'm always cooking in the kitchen so my nose is always open and my ears is always listening. So what you're going to do is you're going to get this chicken here. You ain't got to cook chicken breast that long. See, I'm cooking chicken breast. Look at him. I ain't even touched this chicken yet. But look at that. Look at that crunch on that chicken though. Look at that. Child, y'all think you, you didn't even think it was going to do that, did you? You didn't even think. I know you did. I know you did. So see, you ain't never seen it. But this is the first time you done ever seen somebody fry some dogs on chicken like that. I told you I am the fry queen. Let me go on and get my dog on um, paper towels laid out for this chicken because it's about ready to come out. I don't want no dry chicken. All right. So you hear how the sound of it don't calm down? Baby. That's how you know it's ready to come out. It's ready. So I'm going to take them out. But I'm going to put them on an angle because that's how I like to do mine. I angle mine so that um, the grease will run right off there instead of sit on it. But y'all, let me tell you. So I found out today that, remember I told y'all about the pig that ran up in the house? So I found out today that the cats that's hanging around here belong to the lady that lives here. And that's why they ain't going nowhere. That's why I don't call them. Well, I can't catch them. Remember I told y'all we had the um the, the animal patrol people to come out here and try to catch the cats? Too smart for that child. But yeah, that's why we can't catch them because they was her cat. Her cats. And then the white cat that ran in the house when I told y'all that the cat had ran in the house, I said that cat ran up in here like this cat done been here before. That white cat that ran up in here was her cat that she kept in the house. So that's why I can't get rid of the cat. So I guess I'm gonna leave the cats alone, y'all. I'm not gonna mess with them. I'm gonna let them go on and, you know, just stay because this, this, you know, they don't been here. They don't been here for a long time, but God dang, they, I don't need, for, I'm not gonna be feeding them though. Definitely not gonna be doing that, but yeah. So I guess they ain't going nowhere. So I guess they, you know, you know, I hate to say, but they welcome to stay. 
I guess. Because like she said, it keeps the rats away. And she's right. We ain't got to worry about no rats, you know, out the door and stuff like that because the cats is around the yard. And so, yeah, y'all. So, that's, 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 that's why I can't get rid of the cats. So, I'm going to fry this batch of chicken. I got me some corn on. About to season up my corn. I guess I'll do that with you. About to season up my corn. So, I like to put me a little salt, pepper, butter, and sugar in my corn. And that's all I put in my corn. I'm going to get my lid over here. I don't know. Put some pepper. Not too much. Then I'm going to get some sugar and butter and put it in there. But y'all, look at this chicken. Look good, don't it? Child, y'all know I'm in heaven tonight. You know, got some of my fried chicken. Child, yes, boo boo. Alrighty, y'all, I can tell it's already time. I can just tell by the way it sounds because it started calming down. But it's time to turn it over. Turn it over. I'll let that for a few minutes to calm down, the sound calm down, then it'll be ready. But look how the fries going, y'all. See how it's starting to look sticky? See it? Perfectly. These are gonna be some perfect fries. Yes. With some ketchup in? With some ketchup? And so mayonnaise mixed together, child. Woo! That corn gonna be good too. All right, y'all, time to drop down the fries. Go make your phone ringing. Hello. Hello. I need some more of that stuff from what's the name too. Oh, you don't? Yeah. Tell Keith I said what's going on. Yeah, he said he was on Where my love funerals, Keita? I'm gonna go get a song. All right, y'all, so now I done dropped down my potatoes. I'm letting them fry, but I have not touched them yet because I'm letting them build up a crust on them before I actually touch them. So just let them fry until they get a crust on them and start, you know, turning brown, floating up, looking about they have, like they have way through. You ain't got to babysit them neither, doing the same way like you did your chicken. Let them build on the upper crust before you touch them. And the same thing with the chicken. Just do the same thing with the chicken. Let it build up the crust before you touch it. But never mind my fan, y'all. I can't turn it off. It's going to burn regardless because of the heat over the stove. Let me go my chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So we're about to check the... Fries. Hold on, what I got going on? Okay, about to check the fries. See how they brown? I'm not going on. I hope the chicken ain't too crunchy for you. 
I said, I hope the chicken ain't too crunchy for you. Okay, so those right there looking just right, right there. Grandma, mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Grandma you probably going to have to put you some ketchup on them. Put the ketchup on top of them, make them softer for you. We need to hurry. We need to hurry up and get you some tea. Yep. I said we need to hurry up and get you some tea. Uh huh. When you come back. When I come back, you need to go. No, I could. Uh uh. I'm gonna do it in the um. I'm gonna do it in the morning. When? In the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead and make your appointment. Let's see what they can do for you, baby. Y'all see them fries? Child. Look good, don't they? Mm -hmm. Look at them stuff. Like, God dang it, you know what? Them fries look like them fries I used to buy when Chavo used to go out of town. And stop at the store and get them kind of fries look like that. But they weren't thin like that though. Some of them was a little hard, you know, but they were so good. Yeah. You ain't got no mocking me. No, I'm over here telling them what they used what they gonna be saying about my French fries. Oh. <laughs> you know how I remember y'all used to go to the Phillips Phillips 66? Oh man. They used to have some good French fries. Yeah. Woo! Do y'all remember Phillips 66 back in the day? Some of y'all probably still got Phillips 66 in y'all areas. Yeah. Honey, we think we country. Y'all a little country to know. No, but they, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's called that no more, though. It's a stone. Do they still cook food there? I don't know. I ain't been there. I know. That food was so high, though. Yeah, they was high. The, what's the name of the other store y'all used to go to? The, remember the one it was over there by your house and they sold food too. That's what that's what we talking about. That's no, not that one. Uh uh, Phillips sixty six. I thought Phillips sixty six was the one that was um. Yeah, they're by the liquor store. Right by the liquor store. Right. That's no, but the other one that was over by your house. By the motel. Oh, by the oh, motel. Oh, 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 yeah, by, uh, uh, Blake, the one that was by the motel. Yeah, across the street from your bank. Remember the bank you used to go to? The bank you used to have? When my daddy had got you a bank account? Oh, yeah. It was across the street from there, remember? Well, they, they that matter of fact, they the one that had that uh that that mechanic shop right next door to them. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the fish house right in front of it. You got it going on down and around the corner song from there, yeah. Uh oh. -uh. It's over there by uh, McDonald's. Uh -huh, McDonald's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, honey. I ain't been there. You used to go there. I know. And what the fries taste like now? Hold on, tell them about them fries. Oh, they nasty. So your like So your fries nasty. I told you it take a lot of seasoning to season fries. You have to season that bread and them fries. I need your seasoning. I know what that means because it's your own bread, girl. So I'm missing. Hey, well you season them. I'm gonna have to take. Let me taste it. Cause you, you, you mm, like to, uh, 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 uh. You fry the season. I don't know what's wrong with your mouth. You can the way you like salt. That's what that is. What happened when y'all almost 40, baby? Yeah, you starting to like salt. You getting just like your mama. I'm on 40, baby. You better stop with that salt. I'm on 40. Mm. That's good, y'all. Y'all ain't here to play me. Can't tell him that he hard for my. But they show season. Good, too. Oh, now you taste the seasoning? <laughs>
I'm putting all them up in them. And I'm done. So now I'm putting a lid on that, let that fry. Scratching up your pots when you're cooking. No, when you're cooking. I use them while I'm cooking. Remember, used to tell me you're scratching up your pots and stuff and having stuff sticking. Exactly. So when you use them wooden spoons, you ain't got to worry about that. It's good. You tasted the chicken yet? Huh? You tasted the chicken yet? I said, did you taste the chicken yet? I said, did you taste the chicken yet? Oh. Y'all, I'm done. I'm about to give it a take these fries up. And these here. Wait, wait. So good. Mm. Mm. Be doing my thug fizzle, y'all. Be good. So I'm about to get ready to take these up. But I enjoyed y'all. I love y'all. Peace, love, many, many blessings to each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to ring the doorbell. Hit the thumbs up, the like button, that is. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Set it to all so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. Come live. Share my video. Share my video. And don't be no stranger. Okay? But I'm going to show y'all this food right here. And then I'm out. All right? Love y'all. That's my favorite way to fry, though. I don't fry. I don't fry with regular flour. Just flour. Mm -hmm. I fry with cornstarch because it be crunchier. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna have to start doing your pieces with flour, mm -hmm. so they don't be too crunchy for you. You know.
I'm gonna say the chicken good though, y'all. I'm about to fix me something to drink. I'm about to go in here and sit down. Relax my mind. And call it a night. Y'all have a good one. Peace out. Hey, peace out. Hey, babe, come on. <laughs>